Because what I did at first is I took her up like this and hooked her into my holster because I wanted to be able to hold her comfortably in position, in position, hands free. How's that? It's great. Okay, not too much? Yeah, it's stretching out my quads. Like quads, adductors, like hamstring, that. hip, acetabulum, pelvis, sacrum, lumbar facet joints. How's that? Ah, yeah. <laughs> too much pressure here? No. Or just the mobility? It was just sudden. Yeah. The male client, and occasionally, guys sometimes don't know. Sometimes you'll get an athlete, they, they ask for adductor work. What do you ladies think they're asking for? Do you worry? Adductor? Yeah. I do it. No, I need adductor work. I've heard women say they, they're afraid it's like guys, yeah, that guys want. And I'm like, they're like, do you work adductors? Yeah, adductor, right there. How you doing? Completely closed. Then, then I was taking them kind of up and over just to get a range of motion. Up over there. Right there. Ah, now you see how she said, right there. She's already been trained. What I'm going to do is come around because I want to bring her back to that position, but I want to make this effortless. You tell me, a little higher? Or a little lower. Okay, tell me when. There. Cool. Now, do you want a little more pressure in the gluteals? Yes. Now, how am I working the gluteals if I'm not touching the gluteals? I'm using the leg as a handle to reach down into your pelvis and, dare I say, your root and second chakra to start to open things up to mobilize and I never put my hands anywhere, even remotely inappropriate. Once I get to the point where I'm reaching around to your back, how does this feel? It's fine. No big deal, right? Yeah, that spot. Ooh, that's great. A state of, eh, was declared. One of the things I've seen, we talked about at lunch, that adoption problem I've seen, where the students kind of like it in class, but they're not really picking it up and using it to its full expression or, or whatever. I think part of it is when I leave, they go right back to what they're comfortable with and the client comes in and get, takes off their clothes. Because they're like, well, but the, the client's coming in for a massage. And I'm like, yes, but just have them like, Tell them, take off your shoes, lay down on the table just like you are so I can move you around. We're gonna see where we're gonna work. That is the opening to create the table tie practice that you really want. Once you start doing this, the clients don't, don't fight it in my experience. They, they actively like it. <laughs> Once you have them on the table naked, and you're using cream, you've basically lost it. Because now, if you're gonna move them, now you have to manage all the drape and fight all the drape. Yeah. And for me, if I ever worked with a woman, I always felt like if she gets a breeze, she's naked. Yeah. It, it caused an impediment to the work that I was trying to do. And it worked better to just leave them clothed initially. 